So basically, I've been doing comedy for 10 years, and then I was like, dude, I have never done a one hour show. Like, never. I've never just been on stage for that time. And I, and I was really scared because for many reasons. Like, people wouldn't show up. Right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that was one of them to be honest. Right? Uh, and then and then so many things, right? Like do you can you be on stage for one hour? Do you have that many jokes and shit like that? And then I basically said, you know what? Fuck it. Right? Like fuck it, fuck fear. Just go on stage, right? See how it goes, see if you can survive for an hour. And I'm like, but I don't want to be alone. Right? In the fact that if I'm doing this shit, y'all also need to <laughs> contribute to my fear. What are you scared of now? Uh, so I'm not particularly scared of the dark, but at times, you know that thought that creeps in that someone's behind you, right? Have you ever been like in, in the washroom and you're peeing and you're all alone and you're like somebody's there? Man, I am getting scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> also because you said it in that voice. <laughs> Like you made this a radio mirchi late night ghost to me. <laughs> they like eh karat. Let me fucking Yeah yeah, so I mean you've got that feeling of it's like good like going for a long walk, everything is fine, nothing's happening and your brain's like quick feature. <laughs> and you're like corner. We look around going here. You still walk, walk, go walk, and then the thought comes to me like, hey. <laughs> oh fuck, that is so scary, man. That's a... It's... What, what's worse, you think? Actually somebody being there or not? <laughs> <laughs> Actually somebody is there, right? And that's worse. That kind of like tells you that you knew somebody. Dude, it's worse for women because when they feel it, they're actually somebody is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 usually a man and that's worse than a ghost. <laughs> and usually it's from UP, which is way fucking <laughs> It's cool man, like this, that ghost shit is scary, like I think being followed in general is very suffocating yeah. as a person. I think I think we should get, we'll get, help you get over it once we leave this place, all 10 of us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll slowly walk and we'll turn, we'll just go down again. Like, yeah. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. One of the biggest fears I've had in my life, right, is I grew up as a fat kid. Really fucking fat. Like, I grew up as, like, just, I, I mean, it's crazy. Like, I still, in, in my head, I'm still the fat kid. Do you know that feeling? Like, you know, I, even if I do 100 push-ups, I'm, like, little less fat, but still fat. <laughs> right? Like, it's, it's a crazy fucking feeling, dude. And, and the problem is there's no body positivity influencers for men. Right? There's nobody on Instagram who's like, you go, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Your curves are beautiful, no. <laughs> I fucking put up a photo without my t-shirt, people are like, ew. <laughs> I get weird comments like, average dick. I'm like, how fucking... <laughs> it's a topless photo, what the fuck? How are you accurate? Like, I, I don't... <laughs> 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 okay. So I want to get over that fear today, and I'm very fucking scared. And, I'm, <laughs> and I want to do the last five minutes of this show without my t-shirt. Yeah. yeah! Are you all cool with that? Yes! Right? Uh, please don't report me. <laughs> right? Because it, it's, it's good in context. Right? Without context, like, the fuck is he doing, dude? I'm going to do this. And I'll perform the last five minutes. And I can't believe I'm fucking doing this. Let's fucking... <laughs> Story about my dad. Okay, it's uh, I grew up with this one story that my dad always told me. We, you all heard it probably. It's uh, we were very poor. <laughs> you heard that story? We were very poor. It's never like average poor. <laughs> we were very poor. Like we couldn't ah, like fucking <laughs> like dirty poor. Like ah fucking couldn't eat. Like fucking. I'm like cool man. That was the theme of your fucking generation. Poverty. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Right? Like the theme of our generation is mental health, so like it's cool. Like you know, if I go ten years down the line and tell my kid, you know, I had a therapist, they're like so. 
Was it mandatory? I thought everyone needed to have it to not fuck me up. <laughs> and I heard the story that basically <laughs> he said we were so poor that once he got a toy train as a gift okay, that he gave to somebody else on their birthday because they couldn't afford another toy train. Right? So very sad story. Then toy train he got, he had to give it away because we were very poor. Nice toy train, chuk chuk, China, everything. Right? <laughs> very sad story. Not when you were at 17 times. <laughs> right? It just loses the empathy part of it. Right? So basically when I turned 18, I said I need to go change this fucking story. So I did an internship, I got 3000 bucks. Right? And I went and bought my dad a train. Okay? Same train like he wanted. China, Chuchu. 2500, 500 rupees I made down as I had needs. <laughs> right? And I go to my dad, right? And I'm like, this is going to fucking change our relationship. Right? This is the part he gives me the property papers. Right? <laughs> right? Now he like fucking finally have it. Right? Whatever. I go to him. I, I give it to him and he looks at me and goes like, uh, so what do I do with this? <laughs> and it was so sad because now I was very poor. <laughs> but, but from that day I could remember I gave you train, you gave it away. <laughs> okay, not bad. And my family has really come a long way from that man. Like now, like we love fucking eating, right? If it's not <laughs> obvious in what I'm standing here doing. <laughs> like my family once legit went to Leelavati hospital to eat. Right? I'm not fucking I'm not. A cousin got admitted, somebody, another cousin went, realized Poha is great, put it on the fucking family WhatsApp group. Next week, 20 people. Right? At, at 5 o'clock outside Leelavati. Right? The guard is like, somebody is very loved. Yeah, the chef, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much for coming. Our first ever fucking special. I love you guys. All of it. Uh, thank you so much. And I, and I think just, just uh, once before I get off, on the count of three, let's just like say fuck fear. Okay. One, two, three. Fuck fear! Yeah, have a nice life. Uh, hope uh, we see you again in the other show. Life, life. Yeah, and, and please, nobody strip their ass, nobody jump off a train. And you know, every time you feel like you're fucking scared, just say fuck fear and do it anyway. Because all of us will never be enough, all of us will never fucking make it, so just go fucking do it. If it works, it works, you'll probably have nice 10 people who come to listen to you. Right? Okay, thank you so much, praise the Lord Jesus.